Ms. Maslach, I believe you're up uh, with a uh, speaker from Serbia. Serbia. Good afternoon from Belgrade once more. It is my pleasure today to introduce uh, uh, Dr. Alexei Tarasiev. Uh, uh, Mr. Tarasiev is a head of Department for Evolutionary Biology at the Institute for Biological Research at the University of Belgrade in Serbia. Uh, Mr. Tarasiev is also the chair of the National Biosafety Committee, uh, Biosafety Council, and he's working uh, for many years for various UN uh, United Nations agencies on biosafety and capacity building issues. Uh, Mr. Tarasi will give you a short overview of the uh, new breeding technology policy in Serbia, and it will introduce our second speaker, uh, that is Milica Bogdanovic, a PhD research associate from the same Institute for Biological Research. And uh, she will present to us our very interesting the international project uh, as an example of the use of the new breeding technologies. And the title of the project, Chick Project, is New Plant Breeding Techniques in Chicory. So, Mr. Tarasiev, please start. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hi to everyone from uh, Belgrade, Serbia, and from our Institute for Biological Research, Sinisha Stankovic of the Belgrade University. First, I want to express my gratitude to organizers and my pleasure to see many familiar faces. Uh, and uh, it, it has been a while since we met in person. Uh, yesterday, you heard from uh, Vanya about our regulatory and administrative system. And you heard from Jelena, and you will uh, hear more from Milica today about some of the biotechnology research that is ongoing in Serbia. I will try to very briefly uh, present what happens uh, when you move from a regulatory framework to practical uh, research. And this is where our scientific uh, expert council for biosafety, which I'm chairing, gets involved. It was a very interesting uh, experience and it was uh, not what you can expect. For example, uh, Vanya mentioned uh, yesterday harmonization, need of harmonization with European Union. And we tried to uh, do it in 2009, uh, where we uh, amended our GMO law from 2001 uh, in accordance with the newest EU re regulations and Cartagena protocol. But when uh, this draft law uh, got into parliament, parliament changed it into some, uh, something else and uh, they managed to uh, change that law to be both very restrictive and also unsafe. Uh, our council uh, used the possibility in our role books uh, to uh, convene a meeting without initiative from uh, our ministry and issued uh, opinion about that uh, new law. Uh, it was respectfully noted, but uh, <laughs> we still are stuck with that legislation for, you know, uh, 12 years after that. Uh, second, uh, maybe I was a little bit naive, but I believe that we will receive applications with uh, uh, well-known uh, GM crops. And uh, it was like that for a while. And then we received application with uh, Arabidopsis thaliana, which is wild plant in Serbia. It's native, you can find the natural populations that was genetically modified to detect landmines. There was only one uh, proof field trial uh, before that, and it was in uh, Denmark in a military uh, facility. So after a long uh, and, uh, work and uh, visiting Denmark and setting uh, right risk management uh, strategies, we uh, got uh, we uh, give uh, uh, we gave opinion uh, that uh, it is safe to. Uh, you know, uh, continue with uh, uh, that field trial and uh, ministry issued uh, permission. And those field trials were conducted in our Institute for uh, Vegetable Crops in uh, Novi Sad. 
it's an institution where most of our GM field trials were conducted. Finally, uh, we got uh, to the issue of new breeding techniques, uh, new genomic uh, techniques, new mutagenesis uh, techniques, gene editing, call it whatever you like. Uh, but we, in, uh, in particular, we will be talking about uh, CRISPR-Cas. And yesterday, uh, you remember, uh, Professor uh, Prakash was showing a map with countries in uh, different color, and uh, the European Union was all in red because they treat uh, 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 the new breeding techniques uh, in the same way like GMOs. And Serbia was in a gray area with neighbor, neighboring countries, uh, which meant that we are not yet decided how, could, how to treat those uh, techniques. But we are, you know, uh, candidate countries. So uh, we thought that after the judgment of uh, European uh, Court, uh, Court of Justice, after uh, the uh, study conducted by European Commission, we will have time to look into details and decide uh, what to do. But it didn't happen in that way. Uh, in fact, we received our first application with uh, uh, CRISPR-Cas before the ruling uh, of European Court of Justice uh, came in uh, July uh, 2018. So what our expert council did? We didn't uh, got in very long discussions about whether it should be covered in Serbia under the GMO legislation or not, we issued our opinion, which was scientifically based, based that if uh, government wants to use GMO le legislation in that case, uh, our opinion that uh, contained use proposed in that uh, experiments is safe under the conditions in application. And uh, our government, uh, I think, uh, also made the right decision to issue that type of permit because it was joint project in, and Europe wanted to have something in writing. And what they did with the, that permit, I will give floor to Milica to explain uh, the experiment they're conducting with CRISPR-Cas in collaboration with European Union. Thank you for your attention. And if you have some questions, please. Thank you, Alyosha, for this uh, nice introduction. It really has been a challenging topic for us. And I can assure you, we are using it completely in line with uh, what we signed. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Um, I'll try to share my presentation now. OK, is it visible? Yeah. Yes. OK. So, sorry, just a moment. Um, so, Chick is a Horizon 2020 project that started in 2018 with the title Chicory as a multi purpose crop for dietary fiber and medicinal terpenes. It connects 17 partners from 12 countries, including universities, companies, and nonprofit organizations. Most partners come from the EU, but we also have an institute from New Zealand and my home institute, Institute for Biological Research here in Serbia. So what is chicory exactly? Chicory is a plant originally found in Europe, but now naturalized in other parts of the world as well. In Serbia, we consider it as a weed with some medicinal properties. It is much more used in the northern parts of Europe, where it is known as a vegetable crop used both raw and cooked. In other parts of the world, it is perhaps best known as a coffee substitute, but it has also some medicinal properties. It shows antimicrobial, anti-cancer, and anti-inflammatory activity. 
There are a few varieties of chicory depending on the use and root chicory is perhaps especially interesting. It is, we think, valuable but underused. Root chicory is already used commercially in the EU for the extraction of food fibers. It is a robust crop and not very demanding in terms of fertilizer use. However, it is also difficult to breed due to self-incompatibility. Therefore, new plant breeding techniques can help in the make of new varieties, some of which could expand the potential of chicory roots to produce additional beneficial products. The most important products accumulated in chicory roots are inulin, a dietary food fiber, prebiotic and sweetener, and bioactive terpenes, which are a class of plant secondary metabolites that give chicory its bitter taste. Chick project is focused on three genome editing targets. On one hand, the goal is to improve the extraction and quality of inulin, and on the other to improve and diversify the terpene compounds, as well as explore their medicinal properties. The third target would be to break the self incompatibility, which would of course improve breeding in general. The way we plan to do this is by using new plant breeding techniques, more specifically CRISPR-Cas system. This gene editing technique, as you know, works by inducing double strand breaks in the DNA and then relies on the cell's own mechanisms to repair those breaks. The repair sometimes results in mistakes, which become mutations, and this is very similar to natural mutations or mutations induced by chemical or other mutagens. But what is different in CRISPR-Cas system is that you have directed, targeted mutagenesis. That is, you can control which genes are edited. You can also control how the genes are edited. If there is no template added, the mutations are random. This is what most of the gene editing applications use, and this is also what we use in Chic. However, you can also supply a template, which is more or less different than the original sequence, and induce larger changes like gene replacement. Since this is a targeted approach in which both the guard RNA and Cas9 protein need to be present in the cell in order for editing to occur, we plan to use different delivery methods. There is a DNA-free method in which just the protein and RNA are inserted into the cell and no integration into the genome occurs. Then both RNA and Cas9 can be expressed from a plasmid in a transient assay also no integration into the genome is required. We can also use agrobacterium transformation to insert the genes into the genome, but once editing is done, these genes need to be eliminated by segregation or molecular excision. Now, this project started in 2018, and just six months later, the European Union Court of Justice makes all of these approaches regulated as GMOs in Europe. We were, of course, disappointed with this decision as it is a setback for commercial exploitation in Europe. But we still think it is very interesting in terms of checking editing efficiency and of target effects. As you can see, regulations are different in other regions of the world and the situation is quite complicated. Europe traditionally regulates all changes not occurring naturally as GMOs with the exception of conventional mutagenesis. So all new genome editing techniques are also regulated as GMOs. North and South America have a product-based approach and they consider each case separately, but are generally accepting these new techniques. Asia and Australia are open to these techniques. And while the discussion is ongoing, some genome editing techniques are excluded from GMO regulation. If the genome edited organism is exempted from the regulation, it is usually on the basis of no foreign DNA present in the final product and usually a small mutation of just a few base pairs. These types of small changes in the DNA are to date impossible to distinguish from natural occurring mutations. So it is a big question how countries that decide to regulate these products as GMOs are actually going to do it. Regulations may also change in Europe in the foreseeable future. 
Very recently, the European Commission published a study on new genomic techniques, which identified limitations in the current legislation, concluded that it is not fit for purpose for some of the new techniques and products, and that further study is needed to see whether the regulations should be changed and how. The study also confirmed that new genomic techniques have the potential to contribute to sustainable agri-food systems, and that NGT applications should not undermine other aspects of sustainable food production. So somewhat promising, but still a long road ahead. Whatever the current climate about genome editing is, CHIC is very devoted to responsible innovation. So apart from developing these new techniques to improve chicory crop, it also includes a very extensive impact assessment and communication with stakeholders and the general public. It is a very wholesome idea, I think, assessing the safety of these new techniques, their socioeconomic and environmental impact to involve different interest groups and stimulate informed decision-making. We pay special attention to communication with the general public through innovative communication approaches that combine art and science. So be sure to check out our videos page on the website. There are some really great videos about different aspects of the project there. For the end, some formal info on the project, check out our website and follow us on social media. Thank you for your attention. I would also like to thank the organizers for inviting me to present our project. It's really been a great opportunity and thank you. And I would be happy to answer all of your questions. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Uh, another excellent presentation. Uh, we are now open for uh, Q and A's and uh, after the Q and A's we'll take a 10 minute uh, coffee break if you will. So if you have any questions, uh, please write them in the question box and uh, we will pose them to the experts. We have, yeah. we have one question, Charles, sorry. Oh, we do. Okay, good. How uh, close to the application yes. are you with uh, chicory? For Militza, yes. Uh, they mean the application like a finished product? How close the, oh, to the application with chicory? Okay, so of course I presented uh, just uh, an introduction to our uh, project. We have a lot of very fresh results, which I'm not uh, uh, in the position to disclose now. We are waiting for the first publications to arrive, so it will be pretty exciting when they do. Uh, but I think we, by the end of the project, I think we will be able to um, actually produce all the varieties that we planned or almost all of them that we planned at the beginning of the project. But of course, you never know with uh, genome editing or with other uh, editing techniques. But um, I think uh, we are pretty uh, going pretty well so far. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. I can share with the group that from my previous post uh, across Ghana that uh, they're they're working on salt tolerant uh, rice. It's called uh, New West rice, uh, and uh, they're close to uh, bringing it uh, to market. So there is some excellent research going on that uh, will allow uh, people to have better, higher quality uh, food. So uh, that takes us to uh, 15 minutes uh, ahead of uh, four o'clock. So we'll start up again at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Enjoy thank your you. coffee.